So, man, if people don't, you know, about support. And I just think that, you know, because this is a new age and all of that, that phone tree is not it now. It's the share tree. It's not a phone tree anymore. Uh, it's the like tree, right? The like is one thing, but the share is a whole nother thing. So for you guys to share this, it means a whole world to me because you can shake up somebody's algorithm just by a share or a like. Feel me? So I appreciate that, too. Uh, one more thing. You know, this weekend, I don't know what's going on. It's a lot of people not inviting me to stuff, man. And I really is. I'm not OK with this at no more. I'm not OK with it no more. OK, if you guys got events that's going on, please let Converge know so we can be a part of what you guys got going on. Um, man, today was, a you know, a beautiful feeling. OK, the, the, right before the, the show, John Morat hit a game winner. OK, <laughs> mama, there goes that man. I'm talking ice cold out here. OK, with the lefty too, scoopage. I, I, I'm just letting you know it was a lefty scoopage. OK, big shout out to Tyler Maris. Uh, Seattle Preds very own. He just committed to Alaska Fairbanks. So big shout out to my baller homie. All my baller homies is out here. The EYBL is kicking uh, real dust right now. Rotary is in the thick of things. I just want to give everybody, you know, a couple spear fingers here and there to make sure everybody is going outside representing uh, Washington as a whole uh, that's getting represented the right way. You know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, I just thought about something. Have you ever thought about if you shared something with someone and then that some person kind of realized it was a good thing and shared it to somebody else? Have you did that often? I want more people to do that often. Uh, is try to share something that you found, share something that is the inspiration to you <laughs> or somebody else and share it. Uh, I think Birdseye does a great job of really uh, making me understand I was a part of the golden year of hip hop film. Uh, he always brings it back and goes back to the essence of what it was and how it was and what it could be. Uh, you know, um, share it, man, because sometimes all of us don't get that inspiration unless you share it. You know what I mean? Just like this show, if you share it, somebody else might get inspired by the people that are on this show. Now, with that being said, family, this is the truth for proving I got my first guest, okay? <laughs> my man's a little witty. He does everything. He's an entrepro Negro. <laughs> he definitely is that, okay? Amen. Uh, Amen. He has a boxing gym. Uh, he's been a, 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 a Christian rapper. Uh, I mean, he's been doing a whole lot of things, okay? Only wise one only one wiser See, yeah i'll be messing up things you all good og you all Solomon good. prince how you feel family i'm doing good og proof how you feeling man i, I appreciate mean, you, you know, having me here man man you calling me an og and all of that man listen man uh, it's all respect baby listen, you earned it i mean i appreciate that though yeah, but you know yeah, you i don't want to be feeling old on the show you're not old at all you young you want me to call you yg then? i'm feeling i'm feeling young I'm, okay <laughs> i'm living a good life you're looking young okay. too <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. No, you know, you got to cut off on the cholesterol. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I, I only on Tuesdays I get high cholesterol. That's all. I, I mean, because I'm eating everybody's food. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not. I'm not at all. Okay. <laughs> so I wanted to see, you know, I've been seeing you around for a minute. Yeah. Seeing you uh, grind, not from just being an artist, but then, you know, trying to get your nonprofit game going on. And yep. now that you got this boxing dojo, dojo, you really been going hard at it. Definitely. Uh, definitely. Tell me, uh, how did that start? You know, how did you go from an art artist to transitioning into a nonprofit and getting a boxing gym? What came along? What made you say, okay, this is what I want to do? So, everything is in God's timing. Okay. okay. Everything is in God's timing. Um, pretty much, I still do the music thing. But uh, what happened was I ended up ballooning up to 366 pounds. Okay, so uh, I was doing my uh, my Walmart tours. A lot of people know me through my Walmart tours. I was doing Walmart tours across the country with my music, and um, pretty much uh, I got I got lazy. You know, I was I was eating well. You know, I had to. Oh, you eating Walmart food? Not, not even just <laughs> not even just no, not even. Okay, just, <laughs> go ahead about the store. Not even just the was, Walmart. You said the Walmart tour. That's Walmart like, tour. So like, what I was doing? Somewhat like the children right, right. tour. I'm I'm thinking is them two go together. That's all I was so, saying. But go ahead. So pretty much through my music, I was fundraising for families in need. 
you know, me being a gospel hip hop artist, you know, um, my heart is always for those in need, the less fortunate, you know, the Bible talks about true religion, you know, that's what true religion is, you know, helping those in need and things like that. So I was using my music proceeds to help out families in need. So I turned my, um, my music label, Christy Records, into Christ Organization. Okay, so I got my 501c3 back in 2009. So I ended up linking oh, you've up. You've been at it for a while. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've been go at ahead. It for a minute. I've Christ been at it for a minute. Christ D. Christ okay. D. Christ D stands for Christ Energy. Okay, so pretty much all we are and all we we'll ever be is Christ Energy. Okay, so that's what that comes from. So uh, pretty much, man, I was doing my Walmart tours, going across country, moved over 160,000 units. Okay, that got kind of exhausting. You know what I'm saying? And um, I kind of fell back a little bit, especially when COVID happened. Uh, having fundraised at Walmart since um, since 2019, right before COVID hit. COVID was like, Girl Scouts can't be out here. You can't be out here. Nobody is COVID. I said, okay, say no more. So pretty much I had to reinvent myself, okay? So in the uh, absence of that, I, uh, you know, God was just giving me things. And um, boxing is something I've always done. You know, besides basketball and stuff out all day, but um, always did boxing. You had to plug. Yeah, O'Day you see, real and I knew you was gonna, knew you was you gonna you get me. I knew you was gonna get me all day. You know okay. what I'm saying? All day. All right. All right. And um, <laughs> shout out to my old day fighting Irish that's though, because I got family that's over it. here. But you know, that's you know, shout out to Keandre McGee, all yes, my boys yes, over yes, here. Yes, Mister, yes, uh, Mr. yes, Mr. All Kenfold. the above, Apollo. I mean, yep. you know. <laughs> He's going to the NBA, but you know, it's yes. Oh, he's definitely the first you round. Just first round. On the, on had to, had to. I knew he was gonna give me two. Love back. you, love you. Go, go, so, um, go, go. <laughs> so pretty much I had to reinvent myself during the COVID time. So um, another OG of mine, big bro, he had hit me up. Um, he was like, I know you, I know you always been nice with the hands. He said, I want you to come and um partner up with me in, in the dojo. He teaches a uh, jujitsu. And he uh, and he said, Come down, man, start teaching uh boxing. I wasn't really feeling that. I don't know, you know, because it's one thing to know boxing, but it's another thing to teach boxing to somebody else. Because everybody's not born with the same gifts, talents, and abilities. You so right. I was a little leery about that. But then I was like, wait a minute, though. I know I lost a lot of weight, and I can do that. So I can teach people how to lose weight. And incorporating that, I incorporated the boxing. Okay. Now, boxing, as we all know, is the number one cardio sport of all time. Okay, you got you got boxing, you got soccer, and you got basketball. Okay? You got wrestling, but we gonna wrestling definitly, wrestling definitely, go definitely, who definitely wrestling. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get you gotta, gotta, gotta get that you, in there. I'm, gotta I'm, get that I'm, in I'm there. I'm gonna give a shout out to that. Okay. <laughs> definitely, you must have wrestled. Hardest sport I've played in my entire life. I agree. I yeah, agree. Definitely, I agree. Life. So my, my yeah, but go is, ahead. Yep. Go so uh, and then um, on top of the boxing. I uh, started my, my clothing line. So Crash Organization Clothing Line. It's my nonprofit clothing line. Oh, yep. Okay. So so you look down at the backpack. Is it cool yeah, if I I'm, pick it up? I mean, I'm, yeah, go ahead and pick it I mean, you, you, I mean, okay. You got yep. so we got the backpack. We got the, action. Okay. <laughs> we got the Christ the Order backpacks. Okay. And um, all proceeds go to families in need. Okay. okay. Yeah, 100% of proceeds go to families in need. So, of course, we got the backpacks. We got, uh, we got hoodies, T-shirts. Embroidered socks, snapbacks, all that good stuff, all Christy. So that just goes back to helping our families in need. The Christy Dojo, as well as through my nonprofit. And I'm now at about 20 clients that um, come through every single day. I'm in a dojo every day now. Staying fit. Not only that, it's good for the mental state. Okay. okay. You know, and things like that. And people just been enjoying it, man. And um, I've been doing that since November. And um, yeah, it's just been a beautiful thing. Now, I'm still doing the music here and there, you know, but it's just that sadly what happened with the music is them 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 online streams and things like that once they once when cds went away pretty much it just made it tough for artists to eat oh know? so it was almost like when when the the, the cassette tapes there went away go. cassette tapes the now, dvd now, uh, now. to cds now cds the stream for sure done, huh? for i mean you know it's just a little tougher now now have you like i said i'm from i'm from the era of where i I, I, I slang the CDs all day long. Everybody know only one wiser from moving units, 160,000 units hand to hand. See, I've been doing that. Oh, you was on your two short. I was, I was exactly two okay. short, E40, right all the cats. I got exactly. you. I ain't yeah. mad at that yeah. at all. At all. Tough work, but it was uh, beneficial, you okay. know, and it was a blessing. And, and just, you know, as, as CDs started moving away and, you know, as the newer model cars stopped having CDs in there, it just got a little tougher. Now, of course, I, again, I try to reinvent myself with having um MP3 download cards and, Things like that. Oh, you was you was inventive. Yeah. Well, yes. you got yeah. to, to, to be got an to. entrepreneur, Negro, you there have you to be go. inventive got at to. some point in time. <laughs> Definitely. Got to. Amen and amen. And then so pretty much um for which was cool, but it's just I was doing it solo. I didn't have a team. Nobody was uh, you know, uh, teaching me about only one wiser. You know, a city's gonna be gone now. You gotta start coming to 
uh, you know, the, the online streams and stuff like that to stay out there. Now, of course, I got the music videos on YouTube, all that kind of stuff, good stuff. But I was still out there on the block selling my Same units, place. you know, just selling the units, just doing that. And then um, I really wasn't thinking that the streams was going to take off how it did. You know, and not only that, it's just taking artist money all day long. Like, I'm, I'm sure you understand how much it costs to to even make an album. Costs yes, tens of thousands of dollars, and it's like when you put your music online and you're only getting fractions of a penny per stream. It's just tough. So they said that in order to make a living wage, online sales, you got to at least stream three million streams a month to live off of a minimum wage music income. And I'm like, nah, that's wild. So. Here I am again. Uh, message. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, anybody hear that? Yeah. Uh, three point. What you say now? Huh? Three million streams a month to have a minimum wage income. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I love all y'all doing music. Some of y'all good too. I ain't <laughs> yeah, go front for okay? sure. But have for a sure. different hustle, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Have a different hustle. Cause I know all of us. Cause some of us. Cause I be listening to the local <laughs> music. Okay. <laughs> I give them a fair spin at everything. <laughs> right, okay? right. I know they're not getting three million a month. And I'm bumping they joint, replaying and all of that. And I know you would have to bump it three million times to give them a chance. It ain't happening with the three million <laughs> times. I ain't got that much time in, in, in a month. In a For month. real, in a it's month. Not happening like that. But in a month. I really want everybody to take notice of you know that three million streams and how you reinvented yourself being an entrepreneur definitely uh, what really like when you say you got into christy boxing it's only been eight months right now uh actually less has been since uh since november oh since since november mm -hmm. the well yeah we have almost what's almost six months yeah Six months. Yep, okay. I six mean, months. if it was at the beginning of November, right, right. You know, yep. I don't know if, yep. where you was at because yep. I, you know, let me not get in your business with your big nah, finances you and all of that. <laughs> but uh, since then, I've seen you really be on the grind for sure, really trying to get it in for trying sure, trying to get other people uh, mm -hmm. to get in that boxing dojo yep. just to get healthier for sure. Uh, and I, I want to challenge you right now. Mm -hmm. This is a challenge I have for you. Yeah. Uh, I've done the Tough Mudder two years. Ooh, that's uh, a good one. And right now, I woke up this morning. I really, you know, wanted to get motivated a little bit more. Right. And I wanted motivation, uh, community motivation. I like, like that. Not just us always coming together and having a powwow and talking. For sure. But let's have some activities and maybe we really work down at dirty. some, you know, work at some things. Yeah, right? yeah. So I challenge you, my friend. Right, right. To the Tough Mudder. Which yeah. means that, you know, all of us got to work out, do our due diligence. I'm with we're that. Not, if we're going to start together, we're going to finish together. I'm with that. We're not with gonna, that. We don't have to run that mm -hmm. whole 10 miles, but we mm -hmm. damn sure going to finish. Yeah, that for sure. Miles. For sure. Uh, and I think if a group of men or a group of uh, a community people mm -hmm. can go there and accomplish that all together, we I'm can accomplish that. Any, anything. I'm with so. that. We from the mud. We can get dirty. Well, you know, huh, yeah. I get it out the mud on the regular. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Amen. The regular. Now, Amen. listen. Solomon, if anybody can reach you, how can they get a part of your dojo? Because, you know, I got to go there anyway because, you got know, to. Got I just to. challenged you to this Tough mutter a little bit. <laughs> and uh, Got to. Got to. Oh, yeah. That means all of y'all that's watching, too. Y'all got to they, come, They too. all challenge. Bird's everybody. eye. Look. Everybody. Hey, <laughs> he back there don't, laughing, don't, too. Don't, he don't laughing. Hey, Solomon. He laughing. <laughs> Hey, you coming with me, brother? Okay, Look, if we on the show, we, if we working on the show together. We here together. We in there. We're we doing the thing. Yeah, you too. Shay, don't play. Okay, you we got the sound there. right, but I need you to be at the tough mutter. This yes, show. yes. Okay, we got time to work it out. We just walking it. We're not right. We're not running ten miles, but we are gonna be there together. Okay? We are gonna get it. We are gonna yeah. get it. So before you, we 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 let you out of here, yeah. man. I want you to tell the people right now how they can get a hold of you, how they can get into this Christy boxing. If you yeah. have any specials going on, yeah. where is it located? Because people Got need you. to know those things. Got baby. you. Got you. So it's located at nine five one North. 100th Street, Seattle, Washington, 98133. That is uh, off of 100th and Aurora, okay? Now, pretty much, I'm in the dojo every day. I have my, my classes posted up on my Christ Organization uh, Facebook page. Also, my Only One Wiser music page. You guys can also follow me at Only One Wiser on Instagram and Twitter. And the personal Facebook is Solomon Prince. Also, to get any of the merch, if you want to help out families in need through the nonprofit, get the merch 
You can get it at www.christeorganization.com. And also for any purchase that you make, whether it's just some socks, backpack, whatever, you get a free workout at the Christ E Boxing Dojo as well. OK, so just come and get fit, man. Everybody getting fit. You lose up to three pounds of workout. OK, and that's real. So come and get it in. I don't know if I need to be losing three pounds of any workout. I, I knew that was listen. coming. I knew that Nick was coming. Bro's here too. Now he <laughs> already said I was frail enough. Okay, ah. we're not gonna go there. And now maybe I need to tone up something. Maybe I could so tone up. You definitely will build muscle. I, okay, okay. you definitely will build I muscle right, all day long. You know, to, we got to get, get ready for the mutter. You know, we got to get ready for the mutter. Tank about to be available. Hey, you, <laughs> We got the Christy tank tops on there oh, too, baby. Well, you know, we got the white beat too. One time, listen. <laughs> I want to. I want to give a big shout out to you, Solomon Prince, for being you. here. Uh, I want to give a big shout out for you and all the things you're doing with Love. Christ E Boxing, Christ Love. E Organization, Love. how you created your own organization and Love. nonprofit, and I actually stuck you. with it. I from appreciate you. Six to now. I appreciate so that's a long time. Long you know time. Mean? Long and time. uh. I appreciate and admire that because of the inspiration. Because I know sometimes it feel like I don't want to do it no more. Right. And right. sometimes you need inspiration. You was Amen. inspiration for me. Amen. I so appreciate you. next up, yeah. I got my bro Jew with misunderstood clothing. I mean, you see it. Huh. It's nice. It's lovely. Listen, Jew's gonna come in here talk about some things he got going on. He got some exclusive T-shirts for the summertime that he has not brought or nothing. I. I, I'm telling you, I, I got I, I should be the first couple people. <laughs> okay. But Salman, man, get me on out of here, man. Love, with baby. The break. We're coming right back. Truth with proof, baby. Damn, that girl, you're savage. Big Mac, baby, eating that roof, Chris. 